Welcome, Project Runway, to my studio, 304, at the 1400 building in Cleveland, Ohio. Here to welcome us is uh, Mr. Cut's hair and the sweat hogs. No, it's not Ron Jeremy, it's Mr. Cotter. So, I took this space and completely turned it around. You know, it's not like a penthouse, but it's doable. This is the tiniest sink ever. Sometimes if I don't wash dishes, I just throw them away. And this is my fridge. I like a lot of color, as you can see. And um, this is the main space. I used to break dance in here. Here's a little taste of my flavor. <laughs> I have a friend who helps me sometimes with some sewing when I really have a lot to do or if I'm doing a show. And then I have an intern come sometimes. And this is my workspace where I work every day, all day, with uh, Pandora, my best friend, as in the radio station. This is my awesome cutting table and the awesome view of the skyline to boot. And we're squeezing key tower. now to the bathroom. It is the bathroom without doors. Ta-da! Pardon the mess, my dryer is broken so I have to hang all my clothes. Oh David, I love you so much. David, you're so dreamy. You're so awesome. And lastly, I will take you to my quarters. It's really, really messy and it's true, I don't make my bed. God, I'm a busy designer, so I don't have time. This is my awesome Pilates fluidity bar thing that I got on an infomercial. It's really great. Oh, and here are my bids from the marathons I do. I try to do a marathon a year in a different city, in a different state. So far, I've got San Diego, Cleveland, Omaha, and Philadelphia. Chicago's next, and New York is definitely on the list. So yeah, this is my house, this is my home, this is where I make my work. I probably describe my work as edgy romanticism meets modern retroism, if that's a word. So here are a couple of the newer pieces that I haven't photographed yet that I wanted to show you guys. This coat, it's 100% cotton interlock knit. You can put up one hood, kind of be like your helmet, and then you can put your second hood up, in case, you know, for those super, super snowy days. You can unzip yourself, you know, to give yourself a little bit of like, some, some room to kind of chill back here. You can completely detach these guys because they're attached by buttons. And you just have a regular red coat. If you get cold in the fall, fold these self cuffs down to cover your nippy wrists. Ta da! Wah 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 wah. It's always been my passion to marry creativity with charity. So, with my company where I sell my clothing online, I give 15% of my profits to the Invisible Children or to the City Mission here in Cleveland, a local homeless shelter. I love what I do. Uh, I can't believe this is my life sometimes. I really have a passion to help people with my work. Uh, I'm really quirky, I talk a lot, and I love to eat mangoes. It's true. I love Jesus. A lot. God is basically the center of my life, and He is the reason for my being. And I can still make really cool clothes and love God at the same time. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So, I just way past my bedtime. I figure it's time to get ready for bed but not without saying goodnight. I would invite you in bed with me. However, I know that kind of girl. Not without a commitment project runway. You should definitely pick me to be on your show because I'm cool and funny and Jesus would want it and I'm a great designer. I love what I do. So that being said, goodnight.